Steven here from StevenEngel.com. In this video tutorial, I'll be showcasing the Mac version of Paul's Extreme Sound Stretch, or as many like to call it, Paul Stretch. Perhaps some of you listening have already heard about Paul Stretch from Shamantis, who took Justin Bieber's You Smile and slowed it down 800%, throwing us all into inception. First, I'll be guiding us through a visual tour of Paul Stretch, explaining some of its core buttons and features. Next, I'll dive into the art of stretching by calling up a demo track. Finally, we'll discuss rendering and how you can incorporate Paul Stretch into future projects. Once installed, we'll go ahead and launch the app. Paul Stretch is comprised of one main window that incorporates four different sections or tabs. Parameters is where you can change the amount of stretching applied throughout your clip. The Process tab encompasses tools for isolating specific frequencies and harmonics, as well as options for adjusting the amount of compression and output gain. Just like in the Parameters tab, we have a Time Frame section where you can keyframe or automate the processed effects in and out. The next tab is where you can add in binaural beats to a clip, which helps stimulate the brain even further by adding these slightly different frequencies to each left-right channel. You also have the Time Frame window here as well. Last but not least, we have the Rendering section where we'll write to file, saving what we've created to our computer. First, we'll open up a track by navigating to File and clicking Open. Right now, Paul Stretch accepts WAV, AUG Vorbis, or MP3 files. Today, we're going to use a WAV file which contains more data for Paul Stretch to do its work. Now that our WAV file is loaded, we're ready to start. <music> to stretch our track, we'll grab the fader on the stretch bar and go in either direction. Notice as we drag, the stretch values just below change and go anywhere from the original one time up to a thousand times. Also, right beside these values, it tells us the length our clip will be at the current setting. If we click the S on the right hand side, we can enter in a specific stretch value for more precision. And if a thousand times stretched isn't enough for you, simply click the drop down menu and change it from stretched to hyper stretch allowing you to go into an RO coma by stretching up to 1 billion times. Do take note though that if we are to stretch this much, it would take several millenniums to fully listen through the new clip. For this particular song, I played around with the amount of stretch and decided on 4.66, which gives us just the right amount so we can still sort of make out what's going on. Now I'm going to introduce the Octave Mixer to fill things up a bit. Here you have the choice to add in or take out one, one and a half, or two octaves from the original audio. By using the fader mark percents at the bottom, we can now fan through the track and navigate to different sections. Next, we'll introduce binaural beats and add a keyframe for them to surge in and out. After you are satisfied with the track, it's time to render. To render out the whole track, hit the Select All button and choose where you want to save the new file. So now that you've had a visual tour of Paul Stretch and learned of its core features, feel free to stretch out and find which tracks expand best for you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>